What's up YouTube? Today I got some A-Class racing for you in the new Hoonigan Bronco. This tune is not by me, it is by Mitero360. I don't really know if I'm saying that right, but I'll have it in the description. This thing's got 697 horsepower, 536 foot-pounds of torque, all-wheel drive obviously, 3,673 pounds, and it is called A-Rally. So go ahead and search that up if you want the tune. Real quick before we begin, if you like this type of content, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified every time I post new content. Have you used this Bronco yet? Go ahead and drop it in the comments what you think of it. And let's get into some Hoonigan Bronco racing. So starting off in first place, fun fact about this Bronco, this was actually made for the wife of Ken Block. So that could explain the massive roll cage on this thing. They're like, yeah, well, uh, you know, if she rolls this thing, let's let's make sure she probably doesn't die. You know, Ken Block might not be too happy about that. But anyways, here we are, still managing to hold first in the Bronco of Ken Block's wife. Let's try not to mess this thing up too bad. Then you might have a Ford Fiesta or a Ford Focus in your rearview mirror coming to kill you. And as I say that, I go straight into a whatever that was. These little things that are always sticking out of the walls on this game. Very frustrating. But I don't see Ken Block chasing me just yet. So let's continue this race down into third on this very long corner here onto the pavement hoping to put some power down through the little tunnel not quite gaining enough ground on the Porsche ahead of me trying to carry a bit more speed through this corner this time and just ending up wide the average handling on this thing just not doing me any justice right now Sliding through the first corner. Super satisfying when you take this corner properly. Although I can't seem to do so with this Bronco. It's kind of difficult because you're going from dirt to pavement. And teammate getting taken out. Good thing it wasn't me, because I gotta protect this Bronco. But as I was saying, that corner is quite difficult depending on what vehicle you're in, because you're going from dirt onto pavement, so if your vehicle decides to grip, as soon as you get on the pavement, you'll just go straight and you won't be able to keep your slide, and it'll throw you off. So here we are on a free roam rush, starting behind the Porsche, and won't be behind him for very long because he seems to forget that we're in a race right now all the way up into third behind the Lamborghini and it looks like another Ford Bronco I don't know how many Broncos Ken Block's wife has but there might be more out there and going straight up to the sky not even sure what I hit I didn't know snow could be that hard but as rapper Ice Cube once said, ain't nothing harder than frozen water. And that's some of the coldest shit I've ever heard in my life. But anyways, back to the race, up into second place, taking out some stone walls. Got in third, right on my tail. Crashing through more stone walls, and surprisingly enough, in this Bronco, you lose a lot of speed when you go through those stone walls. You'd think because it's a lifted Bronco, that you'd be able to plow through them with no issues whatsoever, but you feel like you're in a Honda Civic. I guess Ken Block did not think of his wife crashing through stone barriers when he had this thing built, which is kind of a shame, because you never know. You just never know where you're going to take things. Especially in a lifted Bronco. The world is at your feet. At your tires. But here we are, still managing to hold second place over all these bumps and jumps.
keeping an eye on my radar here. Seeing the blue guy creeping up slowly to my left. Onto the train tracks. Hopefully gonna bypass a lot of stuff here just by staying on them. I previously did the playlist event where you gotta race the train. So I was real hyped on this section here. Up into first. Passing the Mercedes-Benz truck. A lot of people seem to use that truck. Now I know I gotta make a sharp right-hander here and the brakes just aren't gonna cut it and that guy in the Mercedes is just gonna be a complete dick and push me into the tree and take my position. I was half expecting it, but I figured he would've flew by as I was braking. But anyways, here we are onto the next event. We got a three-lap circuit guy there in an Audi that does not look like an off-road vehicle. Also guy up in front of me here in a Toyota also not looking like an off-road vehicle. So up into third off the line and again just loving those stone walls. Who needs brakes when you have stone walls? That's what I like to say. So now down into fifth behind a teammate in a Mustang. I'm not quite sure what the hype train is all about with these non-off-road vehicles. But I kind of like it to be honest because there's no better feeling than taking a Mustang off-road and beating some sweaty nerd in his trail cat. So pushed into the wall by my teammate. That definitely was not me raging at him. Definitely not me. So able to pass him here. Reminding him who's on his team. Thank you very much. Up into the sharp 180 degree corner. Doing all right. I like to stick to an inside line on that corner while everyone else goes wide and hits the wall. Again, those stone walls just magnetized to this vehicle. Keeping it real close to that tree as you hit the jump. Gives you enough room to cut in on the next corner. So here we are at lap number three. Still in second place. Third place is quite a ways behind me. Not sure if I'll be able to catch up to the guy in first unless he makes a mistake. Looks like we're actually about to lap a teammate way down there in last place. And he's in the wall, so definitely lapping him. That was not the guy in first. So again, looking for those stone walls, but they're not there anymore. I took them out already and into the tree so as I was preaching on the last lap stay close to the tree actually going too close to the tree so ignore that part but definitely stay close to that tree so here we are finishing in second place so not able to come up with any wins in this Ford Bronco my final opinion on this Ford Bronco it's pretty trash to be honest the acceleration is a bit above average, the handling is average, it has a low top speed, and it loves to roll. This thing loves to roll. And every time you land a jump, it, it just loses control and it just loves to spin on every bumpy surface. So I would definitely not recommend this vehicle. There's so many other A-class off-road vehicles that just destroy this thing in every single category. But anyways, that's my rant. And that's my video on the Ford Bronco. I hope you like it. Go ahead and subscribe for more future content just like this and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. And leave in the comment section what you think about this Bronco and if you have any other ideas for vehicles that I can use. But anyways, guys, I hope you like it. I'm out. Peace.